Hello Monster Truck fans, Damo here and welcome to the final episode of this, the South Pacific World Finals 2 update. Before we get on to the World of Finals themselves, I'll give you a quick recap as to what's been happening in the last few weeks. The indoor shows were held in July and August of this year, and though each show certainly had its fair share of excitement. For instance, at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre, Craig Christensen, driving Scooby-Doo, fought electrical problems all night, which ended up in this roll caused by a tyre popping off the rim. And then in Sydney at Acer Arena, Clive Featherby driving Outback Thunder 2 got a little bit warmer than first anticipated when the transmission let go and burst into flames. A fantastic quick response by the safety crew kept damage to a minimum. It wasn't all bad though, as Craig Christensen this time driving Kaz made short work of a caravan and put in some pretty good jumps. Next up was a return to the outdoors at Dapto in New South Wales. Both Batman and Scooby-Doo both put on an impressive show, but the real battle was between Craig and Clive. Craig's awesome display of huge wheelies, big jumps and a huge save really wowed the crowd. And when Clive came out and out back Thunder 2, they were expecting big things, and they weren't disappointed. And so the next stop was a very wet and very muddy and very cold Canberra Greyhound track. The muddy conditions proved difficult, but they soldiered on and put on a fantastic show. Just like last week, the big competition was between Craig in Taz and Clive in Outback Thunder 2. This time though, Craig got the upper hand and took the win over Clive. The following week saw the trucks return home to Stockland's Park on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Straight away, memories of the Acer Arena show start to surface when now Outback Thunder 1.5 suffered the same fate as 2 when the transmission blew. Thunder was repaired fairly quickly and came back out to complete the show. With this show being regarded as a warm-up for the World Finals, the Stocklands Park crowd were in for a treat with both Billy in Scooby-Doo and Jay in Taz getting some absolutely huge air and fantastic wheelies. Craig this time was behind the wheel of Monster Patrol and wasn't going to be outdone. With Clive pulling double duty and driving both Thunder 1.5 and Thunder 2, he certainly put on a show. In our last episode, we brought you some photos of the revamped Monster Patrol. Well, as it turns out, they were a little bit out of date, but it's alright, because here are the new ones. The new Monster Patrol, and it certainly looks great. Straight from the workshop of Dan Patrick in the United States is the brand new Samson truck, just recently landed. It was debuted at a recent media day at the hands of Mr. Craig I Can Drive Anything Christensen. Out of the box, the truck performed brilliantly. Craig loved every minute of it. Good old Thunder 1.5 was there as well with Clive at the wheel and not to be outdone put in his own little show. Now, sadly, the World Finals is Thunder's last show. This is its swan song and they're certainly not going to go out without a fight. A brand new chassis has been ordered for Outback Thunder, so take a look. I think this is going to be one of the last times you'll see this truck with four wheels attached. After many announcements and changes and rumours, the final driver lineup for the South Pacific World Finals has been finalised. And so without further ado, here it is, the final driver's lineup for the finals Finalisation of the final, final drivers, lineup, finals, finally, finals, here it is, finally, finally. First up, it's the legend, Outback Thunder, with Clive Featherby at the wheel. Second is Scooby Doo, with Billy the Kid Featherby at the wheel. Next, the fantastic looking Taz, with Jay Featherby at the wheel. Next, the returning Devil's Dodge, with Monster Duck driving grandmother, Sherry Schaefer. Next up is Batman with Paul Jensen. Then we have Monster Truck Legend Monster Patrol with Paul Schaefer. Next up it's the Mighty Samson with legendary Monster Truck Builder Dan Patrick at the wheel. Next up is Outback Thunder 2 with Honorary Australian Craig the Boss Christensen. The next truck is Raptors Rampage with Jim Go- No wait! Last minute change! Raptors Rampage now being driven by Corey Clark. So that must mean Jim is going to drive the 10th truck. Well, that was going to be Bugs Bunny, wasn't it? Well, somehow, I don't think Jim Cola and Bunnies mix. So, in a last-minute deal, 
Jim is going to be driving a replica of his own truck, Avenger. That's right, Avengers coming to the South Pacific World Finals. Fantastic. And so there you have it. The South Pacific World Finals starts in only a few days time. And if you can't get to see it live, why not watch it over the internet? Check out www.downundermonsters.com to find out who you can purchase an internet streaming of the event. Well, it's about time now to wrap up this series of updates from the South Pacific World Finals 2. It's been great fun doing these. I thank you very much for watching. Visit monstertrucksaustralia.com to get your tickets now. Don't miss out for this once in a lifetime show. Anyway, I'm Damo. See you at the show.